Welcome guys to the Crazy Hands Knitting channel. In this video tutorial I want to show you really great stitch knit ribbon 2 by one The stitch is really easy, like knit one, purl one, and will be perfect for sweaters, will be perfect for cuffs, will be perfect for hats and scarves. For this stitch you will need to cast on the number there is multiple of three but plus one extra stitch and two salvage stitches. If you want to knit this ribbon in rounds, then the number will be multiple by three only. Now I cast on 18 stitches. And first row, slip the first stitch salvage stitch, then purl one, knit two, and let's repeat, purl one, knit two, purl one, knit two. Purl one, knit two, purl one, knit two. At the end, purl one, it's an extra stitch and purl the salvage stitch, the last one. We will always purl it. Turn. If you are knitting in rounds, the second round will be the same as the first one. In rows, slip the first stitch, knit one, purl two. So we knit the knits and purl the pearls. Knit one, purl two, repeat till the end. Knit one, purl two. At the end, one extra stitch, knit one and purl in the last row number three slip the first stitch purl one now insert the needle between next two stitches yarn over and draw up a loop now make yarn over and knit next two stitches together through the back loop. So out of three now we have four stitches. And let's repeat. Purl one, then insert the needle between, draw up a loop, now yarn over and knit two together through the back loop. Again repeat. Purl one, insert, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, knit two together through the back loop. Go on, repeat until the end. In between, draw up a loop, yarn over, knit two together, back loop. And for the last time, purl one, yarn over, knit two together. At the end, purl one and purl the last salvage stitch. Turn. Row number four, slip the first stitch. Now knit one, then purl two, slip next stitch, holding working yarn in front. And let's repeat, knit one, purl two, slip the next stitch, holding working yarn in front. Let's repeat again, knit one, purl two, 
slip next stitch holding working yarn in front. On my blog I will leave a written instruction how to knit this stitch in rounds. So please you're welcome to check it. And leave me comments if you have any questions. At the end, knit one and purl the last sewing stitch. Row number five out of six. Slip the first stitch, purl one, slip next stitch, knit wise. Then purl two and now pass slip stitch over last two stitches. And again, let's repeat purl one, slip next stitch knit wise, purl two and pass slip stitch over last two stitches and repeat. Slip knit wise, purl two and pass over. Purl one, slip, purl two, and pass over. At the end. Purl one and purl the last salvage stitch. Turn last last row will be the same as row number two. Slip the first stitch, knit one, purl two. Knit one. Purl two, repeat till the end. Need one, purl two. Need one, purl two. At the end, need one, and purl the last salvage stitch. That's it guys, that's what we have and now we start repeating everything from row number one. Pearl one need two, pearl one need two, pearl one need two. Look again at this ribbon, really cute one and stretchy. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial with me, I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video, leave me comments if you have any questions. I wish you all a good day and see you soon!